Have you ever taken a bath, Jason? Yeah. yeah. Let the water out of the tub? Mm-hmm. Pull a plug out or push a little plunger down and out it goes? Yeah. Have you ever noticed the water sort of moves? Yeah, it's sort of like a little, little whirlpool. A little whirlpool. Yeah. Which way does it go? I, I've never really looked. Okay, well, that's what you and I are going to investigate. Not only how does the, what direction does the water go out of the bathtub when you pull the plug, but also what direction the air moves over the surface of the earth in huge storms, all based on a, on a principle called a Coleoris force. And that's why I gave you the file and some cork, because I'd like you to scrape some on the top of this water down here. Okay. Go ahead, put some on there. That'll, that'll make the surface of the water visible for us. Okay. Okay, now see there's a, I put a cork down there in the bottom of the hole. A little And there's stopper? a little string on there. Uh -huh. So without, and we're sitting here on this, this push, what do you call this? I call it a sort of merry-go-round. Yeah, push. that's what okay. it is. We're going to pretend that we're in the northern hemisphere. Okay. Which way do you think it'll go? I don't know, I have no idea, so I'll just guess, I'll say clockwise. Clockwise, okay. Grab onto the string yeah, and I'll right. get you started. Okay, pull the plug. What direction is it uh, going? I was wrong again. It's going counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason for that is this is supposed to be the surface of the Earth, remember? Mm -hmm. okay. As the surface of the Earth turns, various fluids, like air, that are, on t that are close to the surface are, get this spiral motion like this in a counterclockwise direction in the northern hemisphere. Okay. What do you suppose would happen in the southern hemisphere? I think it'll go in the same direction. In the same direction. Okay, well in order to find out, or to make the northern hemisphere go in the reverse direction, we got to set the whole thing up and I'll turn, make you go that way. Okay. Okay. I'll put the fire out. Okay. You put the sticks on and I'll put the... Uh, there. I'll put the plunger in. Okay. Which way? This way? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, here you go in the other direction. Okay, pull the plug. Which way is it going? Oh, it's going clockwise. I'm wrong again. Hmm. So now, now that we've done the experiment, you can tell when you get into the bathtub and you pull the plug, what direction is the water going to swirl around with in the northern hemisphere? Yeah. Which okay. direction? It's going to go clockwise or counterclockwise. 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 And if you were in the southern hemisphere and pulled the plug from the bathtub? It would go clockwise. Go clockwise. And also, next time you look at a weather map and you see the swirling things that they draw on the, on the weather map to show how yeah. the circulation of the air, it's counterclockwise for the same reason.